Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, today I'm going to use my friend Super Sun Prime or Super Boy Prime. And uh, I'm going to play the mission where you have to fight the evil shadows or the huge big shadow. Uh, but before we do that, and I'm going to do that from the perspective of the evil villains so that you guys can get an idea of uh, the difference between the hero side and the villain side. And I will start by taking this mission because there's no reason not to take it. Basically, whenever I'm going to fight some uh, Quardian warriors like, like the Thunderers or the the weapon here is I'm going to be able to get some uh, antimatter residue so let's go to the antimatter invasion zone so today the console we want is the one that's uh, right here so it's called purge the merge basically we have to either stop the shadow demon from forming or we have to defeat them once they are formed as you can see it gives us eight corn and crowns which is uh, not bad and it gives us uh, a large loot cache so let's accept And if you saw my video, A World uh, Past Hope and Fear, uh, basically the, the mission for the evil villains is right over here. I might make a video about that uh, a bit later, but it, it's a bit uh, redundant at this point. So you can see there's a whole bunch of whipping ears that we could uh, attack, but we're n that's not what we're looking for right now. I'm going to switch to my DPS armory. So basically you can see that the... Uh, oh, I've activated it already. So there's a whole bunch of uh, shadow demons that will appear and you have to pretty much uh, stop them from uh, from forming the big, uh, the big shadow demon. I probably chose the wrong character for that. I strongly doubt I'm going to be able to prevent that, but uh, we'll see. Oh, we have a friend who's gonna help us. If there's uh, more than one player, it should be doable. So once you defeat all the shadows, then you have to click on that little thingy and you've managed to stop them from forming the big shadow. You have to do that four times. So basically you just go around trying to find uh, the places where the shadows will spawn. Normally you should see a white dot on the map telling you if you're there or not. Although ideally if you want to be able to do it with other players, there's a few player places where player have a tendency to go. Like if you go pretty much to the north of the map or the middle of the map, that's where you're going to see a bit more player. Somehow people don't really go south of the map if it makes any sense. There's no real reason for that other than it just happens. So here you can see there's another one. So you can see there's a white dot on the minimap. So let's get started. I'm almost tempted to let it form the, the big shadow. Uh, we'll see. Oh, there's someone helping us. Uh, basically, last year we were able, if you were playing a tank character, you pretty much could uh, solo the big shadow. Uh, this year, not so much. They seem to have given the, the shadows, uh, the big shadow quite a boost. So you really need a big group uh, in order to be able to defeat the big shadow this year. I am, I'll probably try to, so to, uh, to solo one of the shadows just to show you. After a while, you pretty much uh, know where the, the spawn points are for the, the shadows. So 
So it makes it a bit easier to, to find them. Of course, if you want to be able to see them properly, uh, you may want to pull back the camera like I just did. I don't really need that, but I did that so that you guys could uh, could see what happened, what's happening. Usually there's a big shadow around here. Uh, there's often a shadow that forms in this area. This is a good spot to try to find uh, like uh, 5, 6, 10 players uh, fighting the big shadow. I guess it's because there's uh, a lot more hero players. So we're pretty much on the hero side here, so there's usually a bunch of heroes uh, already fighting a big shadow. Oh, there, is, uh, there it is. I'm going to switch to my tank armory. Last year I was able to, to solo those big shadows. It was... Uh, it was a long process, but it could be done. Uh, this year, it's it's a bit more challenging, let's say. Oh, well, let's try to pull him uh, and let's summon our friends. So last year, what I was able to do, basically, I was able to uh, to solo the big shadow by uh, cycling through my shields. Which doesn't seem to be uh, an option this year. So you can see there's a few uh, heroes over there. Oh, he didn't save me. He's so mean. So sadly, soloing uh, the big shallow shadows this year, not really an option. I'm not sure why they did that. I guess they didn't want people to be able to, to solo them. Like they, they're intended. Uh, the big shadows are intended to be uh, fought with a with a group. So I guess the the devs didn't like it that people could uh, solo the shadows uh, last year, or they just did some sort of rebalancing and uh, somehow they they gave a boost to the the big shadows. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, there. Uh, probably not the same. I was trying to find the, the shadow I was fighting. Hopefully the heroes are still there, but I guess not. So as you can see, there's this big shadow that you could fight, but you have to be uh, uh, you have to be a whole bunch of, of players in order to be able to do that. Although I'm sure there's uh, maybe some expert tanks could still uh, defeat the evil big shadow but uh, I wasn't I'm not able to anymore I was able to with this character last year but this year it doesn't seem to be an option so I guess we're gonna have to settle with so if you cannot defeat the big shadow and if you cannot uh, form a group to defeat the big shadow then uh, oh, the evil uh, guardian uh, is looking for trouble So let's switch back to our DPS armory. So we're only missing uh, one shadow. So let's try and find it. I passed one uh, not long ago. Maybe it's still there. I uh, guess not. Oh, there it is.
So as you see, if you don't uh, manage to defeat all the shadows, at some point when they bunch together, they create the, the big one. And sadly, as you saw, we, there's no way we can solo the big one at this point. Again, a big shadow. So unless there's already a handful of people fighting it, uh, there's no point in, uh, in attacking it. Sometimes you'll see a, a whole bunch of people waiting uh, where the shadows usually spawn. So I guess they're waiting for the, the shadows to spawn in order to be able to fight it. Ideally what you want to do is that you want to take all the missions and as you play the missions you look for multiple objectives. I didn't do that today, uh, today I just took this one mission to, to show you guys. I will probably make a video a bit later today uh, with the other solo missions. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Either today or tomorrow, but uh, surely this weekend uh, I will make a video about that. And there's also a feat to help the, the various uh, Iconics. So sometimes you'll see Iconics like uh, Bizarre roam the map. So if you help them uh, fight the evil Guardians, uh, there is a feat for that. I, I forget uh, exactly what the feat is. But basically if you see an Iconic, uh, go help it out and uh, eventually uh, you should get a feat out of that. So as you can see, we still need some uh, antimatter residue, which is why there's uh, a question marks above some of the guardians. Very interesting. I've got a new thesis to test. So there's the big one again, but we can't really fight it, so... Oh, here's one. So sometimes you'll see uh, someone is already uh, in the process of doing uh, the mission, so if you come and help them, you should be able to share the... to share the, the reward with them. To share the objective. Those shadow demon archons are so that's pretty much uh, it. So basically you want to be able to fight uh, the smaller shadows and stop them from becoming the big shadow. Uh, it's a bit easier if you have a character that uses a bunch of crowd control. And uh, last year with the tank, we could fight the evil big shadows by yourself. Uh, sadly, this year doesn't seem to be an option, or at least uh, I'm not able to. So let's collect our reward. Uh, 
And some of you guys have been asking uh, how to get collections. Uh, this is pretty much one way to, to get it. Uh, I'm not sure if there's other ways, but basically reward, uh, the, the loot cache is where I got the collections uh, so far, as far as I know. So let's see. So uh, the weapon or the utility box. Uh, let's go for the weapon. So as you can see, we got uh, two collections. So the Brainiac versus Anti-Monitor, uh, it's not really worth it. All it gives you is a handful of marks of victory. But if, you want, if you're a completist or if you need marks of victory, then I guess you can complete it. Uh, there's probably a feed attached to it as well. And uh, this is uh, a collection for the, the source. Uh, basically, I made a video earlier this uh, this week where I showed uh, the New God's Aura, the fourth world New God's Aura. Uh, that is a collection for that Aura. And those are collections. Uh... And those two were collections I got with the Eyes of the Dusk. Uh, basically, uh, I have a whole bunch of characters that still don't have the, the artifacts that came with the... I think it was with the Assassin's Time Capsule. So uh, I still need to use the Eyes of the Dusk, as you can see, with uh, some characters in order to be able to get those collections. So that's pretty much it for Purge the Merge. Or basically the big mission, the mission where you have to fight the big, big shadows or the tiny, small ones, uh, depending on how the mission goes. Uh, I know some of you guys had questions about that, so hopefully uh, this will answer at least some of your questions. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in, comments in, the, in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.